We have a question from Jeffrey. He jumps right to the point. 58 years old, decent shape. Been working kettlebells for 10 years. Former SEAL and early Dan John University student got me into this. Have recently been focused on kettlebell snatches. Completed 10, 100 snatch tests in under 5 minutes with the 20K. Can do 100 uh, snatches with the 24K in 10 minutes without too much struggle. Well, I'd hope so. If, if you can snatch the 100 in 5 minutes with the 20, you should easily be able to do 100 with 24. Aside from doing snatches and more snatches, what base exercises do you recommend to improve my overall performance with heavier weights and higher reps with heavier weights? And I'm guessing that's with the snatch. Okay. Goal is 200, uh, 200 snatches with the 24 in 10 minutes. Um, not a very smart guy, so want to keep things as simple as possible, but understand that a systematic approach beats out just doing grunt work or doesn't. Maximum work capacity is my ultimate goal. Well, if maximum work capacity is your ultimate goal, and uh, you know, I mean, snatches might, kettlebell snatches might be helpful, but you know, I prefer you do hill sprints, farmer carries, sled pulls, and prowlers. But um, I've talked about this before recently on a podcast with Pat Flynn. Um, the goal is um, 200 reps in 10 minutes. So my response always is, then we got to find a weight that you can do the 200 reps in 10 minutes. So maybe um, one of the things I do when I get people ready for the RKC, one day a week at first, we have them do a test. And in your case, we'd use half the weight, so 12 uh, kilos. And we'd have you do the 200 snatch test uh, in 10 minutes um, uh, with the 12. And at the end of it, we make a decision. Is it your guns, your buns, or your lungs? And uh, if it's your guns, you just you struggle with the lockout. You're just generally upper body weak. Uh, we'd have you do a lot of clean and press, a lot of clean and press, uh, press probably the rite of passage workout, uh, and really get yourself just stronger. Uh, if it's your buns, uh, you know, you're just, then that would be maybe the 10,000 swing challenge. Finally, a use for the 10,000 swing challenge. That might be very helpful. You know, a 20-day period, I would even say in your case, 20 days in a row, uh, of doing uh, 500 swings a day. With, and by the way, the width of 24 would just be fine. Uh, I, I think there'd be some real value in it. Um, and then, uh, so, and then if it's your lungs, well, then it's, you know, farmer walks, the prowlers, snatches and snatches and snatches. Uh, I'd like you to build up to, uh, you know, I, you know, it, we, there'd be some, some varying waving week to week to week, but ultimately I'd like to have a workout, something like this, where you did uh, 200 snatches with the 16, 200 snatches with the 10, and then 200 snatches with the 12, all in one workout, a very exhausting workout uh, on like a Tuesday or something like that. Generally, I tell people this, um, three days a week, uh, Rite of passage. One day a week, you do the, the snatch test. We do the 200 snatches in 10 minutes. And then the Thursday workout uh, is a little different. And if you're serious, uh, this is what I'd recommend. Uh, with the 24, uh, this is going to be tough. Let me see if I can do the math. So you go 20 left, 20 right, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 and 20. So right, left, right, left, right, left, um, uh, four rounds of 20, four rounds of 20, and then the same, but four rounds of 15, four rounds of 15, four rounds of 10, four rounds of 10, uh, alternating, and then jump up a weight like to the uh, 28 or 32, and then do uh, uh, four rounds of five and four rounds of five alternating. So you're doing snatches tired. Uh, it's gonna be a tough day. It's gonna, and don't worry about the number of uh, how many how many minutes it takes. Just finish them up. But uh, doing the rite of passage, at least one day a week doing a test with a much lighter bell, and then the other day a week doing this 400 workout I just told you. And make sure the math works. Just left 20, right 20, left 15, right 15, left 10, right 10, left five, right 10. Just make sure it adds up to to, to 400. And then um, do that for, oh, I don't know how long the rite of passage you should do, maybe eight weeks. 
uh, have a very, very light week and, and test and, show, and test yourself and see how it goes. And whatever, if you fail on the test, it, it's not failure, it's just a learning, um, then get back to me and we'll, we'll, we'll change things around. If you make it, uh, then you're done. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Hope it helps.